Alright, good evening everyone, welcome back to uh, F1, uh, or sorry, the Midwest F1 League. We are back here again. Um, this is my first time doing two nights in a row of commentary at this league. Um, it's Blind Machine, um, and Hotspot is with us here tonight as well. So welcome back, as I said, to uh, Midwest F1 League. Um, this is a little bit of a different one. This is the Friday series. Uh, my first time doing this series as well, and uh, with a completely different format. We're running two races instead of one, uh, a little bit shorter races. We're also starting with USA Short for the first one. No qualifying, as always in this particular series and a random starting grid so that should be pretty fun hotspot um, you're also gonna be in a driver position um, and commentary position at the same time so tell us about that how does mm. that usually work well I tell you what um, surely it's gonna go better than last week my uh, showing at both Hungary and Zandvoort was an absolute mess so uh, I hope this one's gonna be a little bit better um, you know, it's usually just a little bit of a challenge doing both but then again I'm doing this just for fun so I'm not completely like you know, I'm not having too big of a deal over it, but uh, I'm surely excited. Um, well, I'm actually starting fairly up the grid here. I'm starting about fourth or fifth from the looks of it, so this is going to be very interesting here, and I think we've got... Uh, I can't tell who that is in front of me because we're just using uh, normal car liveries, but yeah, I'm excited. All right, yeah, and that's another cool thing that uh, this series has differently from the rest of the divisions in uh, Midwest F1. It's the fact that the drivers get to use their own um, multiplayer car liveries, which uh, is a little bit cool. You know, you get to uh, customize your car and show it off at least once a week with a bunch of other guys on uh, stream. Why not? That is definitely uh, going to be pretty cool. So we're going to be doing a 50% technically race length around USA Short, but because it's short, it's more like a 25% total. Um, so expect a lot of overtaking a lot of battling i'm expecting a lot of carnage into turn one but let's get ready here in a second and we're gonna be going as the lights go out now and we are racing here in usa short let's see how this is gonna work out here in uh, just a second it looks like mahi mahi starting at the front there with el uh, majako and niru nix oh there's more pieces of there's already pieces of uh, wings flying around there. Mon uh, Monkey Mafia is uh, down the ninth place there. I think that was a piece of his uh, car, or it might have been El Majaco because it was a nice yellow piece, and there's only a couple of yellow cars on track here. It's uh, going to be 28 laps. Oh, my goodness, there are more cars going off. It's Mahi Mahi. He started right near the top there, and look at him. He's down in ninth position now as Monkey Mafia moves up to eight. Uh, we have Ghosting enabled as well because, uh, you know, we don't want too much carnage and too many incidents happening here. So uh, you'll see sometimes the cars will be ghosting through each other. But looking at the starting positions here after what looks to be almost the end of lap one here in just a second, it's Niru Nix in first position, El Majaco in second, uh, Hotspot in third, the best pawns in fourth, Yalmir in fifth, uh, Helgi. Helgelin in uh, sixth. Astunic. Oh my god, Astunic is in this one. I do know Astunic quite well. Uh, he's now in seventh position after starting in uh, sixth. So he dropped down a position. Um, but the biggest gainers were the best pawns. Gained three positions. And um, uh, it was Helgelin who was making a move right now. And Yalmir into turn one down the inside and then he's up into fifth position and that's four positions gained off the start. Knuckles has gained five positions as well. He's in 10th but he started 15th and Monkey Mafia all the way down in 15th place. A couple of people into the pits. Monkey Mafia included F1 Jinnet and Impossible Bacon. All three of them are coming in for a pit stop fitting on a hard tire for Impossible Bacon. Um, let's take a look at uh, what other tires we've got here. Uh, Jinnet is going on a soft. Monkey Mafia on a soft. Um, Hotspot, you're currently in third. How you doing? Yeah, so I tell you what, that was one heck of a start there. I, I'm not sure if Mahi missed the memo that we're going to USA Short because he went completely off going uh, into the 90-degree turn. I've actually found myself uh, in a pretty good spot. Uh, Majako's just taking the lead for me, uh, taking second for me last lap, and just taking the lead now uh, very shortly here. But this is a very good race so far. Um, one thing I do like about this track is there's plenty of room at the top of turn one, um, and so that's why we didn't see a lot of carnage. But, yeah, I'm off to a pretty solid start. Uh, we got Best Pons behind me, who's under pressure from hell. Uh, and we are going to get DRS this time by. Um, but yeah, o overall such a, a really good start already. And then apparently there was some chaos behind me. Or uh, I went around the outside of two people going through turn one. So uh, somehow I've luckily escaped that. 
Well, you heard from the man himself as we were riding on board with him as well. But um, yeah, I, I'm very impressed that you're able to uh, drive and talk to us at the same time and do some commentary. That is incredible. But everybody who's already joined us on the stream, thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you for, uh, you know, staying loyal to Midwest F1 League and uh, watching all of our streams here. Uh, get some comments coming in as well so uh, we'll know what you guys are thinking and how you're liking the racing so far. If there's anybody that you think is going to surprise us here today or maybe end up on the podium from starting really down low uh, put your bets in so to speak um, into the comments and I'd love to hear from you guys uh, once again it's blend machine and hotspot in the commentary booth um, I have enjoyed doing division 2 and division 3 racing so far but tonight I get to do a little bit of a different thing here in the Friday session as uh, Helgelin going down the inside of uh, Mahi Mahi but the best bond came out of nowhere and overtook both of them on the last corner and the best bond up into fourth place out of nowhere as I said absolutely incredible move there but Helgelin is gonna have to hang to the back of him he's nice and close he's sitting right on his back wing and uh, he might still make a move here um, hotspot quick question for you in terms of uh, race strategy and the weather was there anything in terms of weather and uh, what sort of strategy are you gonna be doing here tonight no it doesn't appear that weather's gonna be an issue right now though I think I'm gonna be pitting uh, I think a lap earlier than everyone else so maybe around lap 11 is when I'm gonna be looking at so one-stop strategy going from the softs to the mediums I don't know if anybody else is gonna be taking that but I have noticed that Nehru ahead of me has just picked up three seconds and then best pawns behind me has just picked up three seconds so I'm actually sitting very pretty right now uh, en route to hopefully a podium I know we're only five laps in but uh, this track is really uh, complicated especially going through those S turns uh, over in sector one that is easily a place to pick up a time penalty as I'm sure uh, some of these guys already have and then that 90 degree turn uh, into sector two that's also a mess but um yeah, this has been a very solid race so far. I just hope that the pit strategy uh, doesn't get too much in the way. As hopefully I'm going to get an overtake on Nero this time by going up the hill in turn one. I've got the left-hand lane. Uh, I think I'm going to try to break just a little bit later. And yeah, oh, wow, I broke way too late. And I think he oh. got that position anyways. Yep. Ah. Uh. Yeah, and now watch out for the best really bonds. Well. Watch out for the best bonds right behind you because he uh, saw you and he might think, hmm, there's a moment of weakness. I am coming. So definitely watch out. But we're going to rejoin with you a little bit later as uh, there's more battling going on. Mahi Mahi um, just had a little bit of a touch there. I think it was with uh, ZGS. And he's missing a big chunk of his front wing now. Um, he hasn't pitted in this race yet, but he's having a little bit of trouble there. And I think he might be pitting. Uh, it looks like Terror the Terror has left the session. I'm not sure what happened there. And my graphic is all messed Ooh, up I again. I just got a bump from Best Pawns. Oh, rear. yeah. He's, uh, he actually hit my rear end going into that corner, um, which is weird because currently on his uh, on, on my uh, leaderboards here, he says he's a lap down, so I don't know what the deal is with that. We'll have to keep an eye on that, but he still has the three-second penalty. Also, Yolmir behind him. Um, so, yeah, this is certainly going to be interesting here as hopefully I'm going to get this overtake again going into one. It's going to be a lot closer. His Best Pawns has just entered the pits. Or has he? He was behind me for a second. I don't know. My internet is all over the place at the moment. Uh, he was behind me one second, and now he's not. But, uh, yeah. yeah, this battle between me and Nero is going to be heating up here very shortly as we're both still in that soft compound from the beginning of the race. And I think uh, Yolmir is actually the only one that I can see right now that's on the medium compound. So I don't know how that's worked out for him. But, uh, hey, you know, if it if it works. I mean, we saw last night in the Div 2 series, there was a oh lot my of... God. Uh, interesting pit strategies to say the least and uh, paid off for specifically the razor guy jc blackley was up there as well that's his fourth uh podium of the year uh in that division so yeah i mean i'm not really sure how people are going to play out the strategy specifically this is a track that i mean we don't touch all year um the only time we've raced on this track was crash bash uh for christmas um which that's not even really racing so um <laughs> No, absolutely. I mean, this uh, track, even in other leagues where I race at, uh, we usually keep it for the season finale or somewhere close to the end of the ra uh, of the season. But uh, the full, um, you know, USA Circuit of the Americas, that is a one super exciting track. Um, I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the battling on that track because, you know, there isn't really anywhere to battle. But overall, a driving experience, it is absolutely incredible. Um, but right now, how 
Hotspot um, is still doing pretty good, sitting there in third position, still right on the heels of Niru Nix, and we're only seven laps in, so we're one uh, was it one quarter through the race, 21 more laps to go. Uh, we've had a couple yeah, of people just that picked did up pit. Six seconds ahead of me, he's got six seconds of penalties now, so I'm just gonna try to keep this one nice and easy, as I think I'm probably one of the only people in the top five right now, uh, minus Jocko up in first. That doesn't have a penalty, though. I think. Uh, Knowing me, I'm going to get one within this next lap now that I say that. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool to get an onboard, uh, you know, note and, and, and live opinion from the driver. That is absolutely incredible. I feel like uh, that special event that they do, uh, or that game that they do at uh, the All Stars uh, NHL um, event, uh, when they have a mic on on the players and they have a little, you know, headphone and basically they can talk to them while they're playing. It, it throws a lot of them completely off guard, and I must say they make a lot of mistakes because of. But Hotspot making it work really nicely here right now, and we're also we're watching a Z, ZGS just made a move there on Smith Bell, another driver that I've actually uh, commentated on before in other leagues. Oh, and Smith Bell just making contact there with F1 Jinnit, and F1 Jinnit is uh, gonna overtake that position anyways because Smith Bell is actually coming into the pits. So a lot of drivers pitting already, so it means that uh, yourself, Hotspot, um, El Majaco, and uh, Nero Nix are the only three guys running at the front right now who have not pit. We also have Knuckles uh, who hasn't pit from the soft tires, but other than that, the only other people who have not made any stops are those who are running on a medium tire that they've started on. So very interesting situation right now. We're going to stay on board here with Yolmir, who's now closing up on the back of uh, Hotspot pretty quickly here, whose uh, Hotspot is also sitting right on the back of Nero, as I mentioned. So a lot of battling going on here. Also, a lot of uh, penalties, unfortunately, that we're seeing. Uh, Nero has six seconds. Yolmir has six seconds. Impossible Bacon and the best spawns have six seconds each. Uh, Hel Helgelin, uh, Astunek, Smithville, and Money Mafia. Monkey Mafia, sorry, all three seconds each to their name. So uh, that could possibly play into somebody's hand here as Hotspot. It looks like he's going to go for the move here down the inside of Nero into turn one up the hill. And he makes that one stick. And Nero is going to have to now, uh, you know, fight back and try to recover that position if he can. But he's got a long way to go still. Only on lap nine of 28. El Majaco 14.4 seconds ahead of everyone else. I am not sure um, how he managed that sort of a gap. But he's doing an incredible job here tonight. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see if anyone can challenge him um, towards the end of this race. Um, Hotspot, uh, you know, let us know about that. Tell us about that overtake. That was, that was pretty incredible from our view. Yeah, no, that was pretty good. And I didn't even really get that run until really late in the straight as well. But, um, you know, he's been doing a good job of giving me that line if I want it going into the corner. And I uh, haven't always had the opportunity to take it, but that time I did, and I was just able to keep it clean. But I want to go back to the pit strategies really quick. As you know, a lot of people pitting, uh, pitted really early and are currently on, you know, softs and mediums. But the thing is, is that... Uh, a lot of those drivers that pit early either have penalties or had contact in some way on the first lap and uh, therefore had to pit to get that replaced. My strategy right now is I'm only going for a one-stop strategy, so a lot of these people uh, that are putting on different compounds, such as the softs or the mediums, are going to have to pit probably again before the end of the race. You know, we still have 18 laps to go. I'm probably going to be coming in uh, this next time by here on lap 11, um, just because I think I'm in a pretty decent position right now that would if I put on that medium set I won't need to pit uh, at the end of the race in fact if I pit right now I'll come out in sixth so uh, yeah I'm actually perfectly okay with this uh, one-stop strategy right now um, it's gonna be a close one certainly I don't know if I'm gonna end up with this podium especially if we get some sort of uh, safety car or something uh, but yeah right now I'm interested to see it as to how some people are playing out these strategies uh, it's actually like it's kind of in the back of my mind. I'm not really worried about it at the moment just because I've, you know, I've still got to deal with these two behind me. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's my take on it right now. Jacko's way up there. He hasn't had, well, I mean, he, he made the move going into turn one, and that's about all he's had to do this race. So, um, yeah. Oh, and here comes a move from possibly Yolmir on Nero with the DRS open right now on the straight, on the start finish, coming into turn one up the hill. He's going to take the inside line, but Nero protects it from the outside there. They make a little bit of a touch. Oof, heard that one. And Yolmir is going to make it through there for third position up into the podium positions. Goes Yolmir. Now he's on a different 
uh, strategy than the rest of the top five, Oof. actually, right now. He is my on... Penalty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw that one, but it's so hard. That uh, that corner comes at you so quickly there. Um, oh, but... it really does as well, but uh, it's all good, because Jacko's got... Everybody is in this uh, top five, other than Jin, it's got the three seconds, so... Could be worse. <laughs> So, um, yeah. I think I'm actually going to be switching on to the hards here instead of the mediums. I, I'm just not that confident that the mediums will be able to last me to the end of the race. Oh, I've gotten really drifty coming out of that corner, haven't I? Um, as I'm going to try to manage this corner and somehow uh, bring up the menu to switch the tire compound, uh, which I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to do. So I think we might just have to stick with the mediums here. Yeah, you focus on the driving for now, and uh, we'll talk about this other uh, crazy battle that's going on here right now. As Hotspot is going to go into the pits to make his first pit stop in this race, but Impossible Bacon and the best spawns. Those two guys are both on the hard tire that Hotspot was thinking of going on to, and they are battling right now for 7th position. Um, they're not extremely quick. They have a massive, massive gap between themselves and uh, ZGS right now. But uh, ZGS has made a stop in this race, or, or hasn't made a stop uh, in this race. And the best spawns and Impossible Bacon both had to make a stop with the damage earlier on. But Hotspot comes out out of the pits on a medium set of tires. There's only 16 more laps to go, so I'm pretty sure you can make it till the end there. And he is in sixth place right now with a 4.5 gap to ZGS, who, as I mentioned just earlier, has not pitted yet. Oh, it looks like Helgelin and uh, Mahi Mahi were getting very close together there, but it looks like Mahi Mahi has made a clean overtake for 10th position. And uh, Hotspot, correct me if I'm wrong, but what is the points uh, structure here? Is it going to be down to 10th place? Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head. I think or, I think we do points throughout the whole grid. Um, I could be wrong. I don't know what off the top of my head specifically, though. It sounds like I think we go through the whole grid as we do in the other th uh, three series. Okay, all right, perfect. Well, thanks again. And it's, again, really nice to have an insight, a live insight uh, link to... Uh, to talk to a driver who knows a little bit more about the structure of this league. So, uh, right now, lap uh, 13 of 28, Hotspot still in 6th position, but Nero is now into the pits there, and it looks like the Undertake has worked out there. And the undercut for Hotspot is putting him ahead of Nero once again. So, that is good, and now that's 5th position. Uh, and F1 Jinnet has jumped himself all the way up into third right now. Um, he made an early stop, put on a soft, uh, uh, a soft compound, and now he's done 10 laps on them. So I would be expecting him to come in pretty uh, soon here as well. And he's actually drifting around on the exits of some corners. So uh, yeah, probably going to be switching on to either a medium or a hard until the end. Um, Hotspot, uh, what do you think in terms of the mediums uh, and how they're feeling so far? Do you think they'll make it until the end? Well, they feel okay, and I'm not really worried about them making it to the end. I think they'll be able to make it to the end. I'm just worried about if I get into any traffic, or if I come into any pressure, I mean, behind me, uh, towards the later stages of the uh, of the race, I think I'm going to have a little bit of difficulty. Um, ZGS, I don't think, has pit yet. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. You're right. Um, so he's surely going to be coming in soon, uh, even with him on the medium compound. Either he pit... Uh, earlier in the race as we have I think someone is coming out here I'm not sure if that's a back marker or what but uh yeah Terra's gone ghost so uh we're just gonna be finding a way around him very shortly that was very weird to just drive through the car normally uh we have ghosting turned off so that was a bit of a different experience for me um but ZGS uh he's he's doing okay right now uh, he had a bit of a lockup going into the 90 degree which almost Gave me enough for uh, an opportunity to overtake him, but just wasn't quite enough. Um, as there he goes, locking up again. I'm still worried about Jinnet on that soft tire strategy. I still think he's going to have to pit at least one more time uh, before the end of the race. I know Jinnet can manage his tires really well, but I don't see that soft lasting this many more laps. Um, especially... No, oh, I got a bit loose coming out of that corner. But um, I'm pretty sure the track temperature is really, really like high right now as we are in Texas. But... um. So yeah, I think that's going to be wearing away even more as ZGS's might give me an opportunity maybe this time, Bob? If I get the DRS, which I'm not. Just yet, it looks like he's close. not bidding yet. Um, but yeah, you are um, you are absolutely right. He has not bidded yet. Um, he also doesn't have any penalties to his name. Um, so keeping it nice and clean. But I just wanted to mention as well, El Majaco, um, he's still ahead. He's bidded for a set of uh, medium tires. 
He's now five seconds clear of Yolmir, and uh, Yolmir is 3.7 seconds clear of F1 Jinnet. But then there's a huge gap to uh, ZGS. Um, ZGS is 20 seconds behind Jinnet. But again, as you just mentioned, Jinnet is for sure going to have to pit again. There's no way he will be making it until the end on the soft tire. So I would imagine he probably put on a medium to make it until the end here. Um, Helgelin is was trying to make a move again on Mahi Mahi there, but just made it a little bit dirty and Mahi Mahi managed to keep the position. So that is still 9th and 10th for those two guys. Impossible Bacon in 8th, Best Pons in 7th, Nero in 6th, Hotspot in 5th, ZGS in 4th, Jinnet in 3rd. Yolmir in second and El Majako still uh, leading this race. He does have a penalty to his name though, um, so that might come into play later on. We'll have to wait and see as we are now on lap 16 of 28. 12 more laps to go. Yolmir and Jinnet both into the pits now. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. Exit right here. I think I might be able to get at least one of them. Oh, that was close. Ah, goodness me. I nearly got Z ZGS there. Um, but that's found me up in a P4. I think I might be able to overtake one of them going into the 9 degree, especially if these guys uh, try to take each other. I've gone a little bit off the track there. Just a little bit. Oh, I, I wanted the inside so bad, but I didn't want to get the penalty. Ah, a little bit tough there, and I think Nero's right against me, though. Yolmir does have 9 seconds of penalty, so I believe that's going to move me up into third at this rate right now, plus Nero's got 9 seconds. Right now, I might be looking at a podium if all still goes well. Um, though I could be wrong, so I'm not going to say anything just yet. And unfortunately, the best Bonds has just uh, disconnected from the session. I'm guessing he had some sort of maybe a glitch or a uh, connection error, but that definitely, definitely sucks. He's actually asking for another invite. Um, I will not be able to invite him, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully somebody else that is... Uh, watching or maybe that's driving actually everybody's still driving on track nobody has even dnf'd yet or anything um so everybody's uh keeping it nice on track so that probably proves it that everybody gets points until uh the last place so that would be incredible and i've noticed that in the other divisions as well because of the fact that everybody stands to score points everyone uh, manages to make it until the end or tries to make it until the end as much as possible and uh, we're still watching this uh, battle going on here we're watching from on board with Nero as he is keeping up with Hotspot who's keeping up with ZGS and the both of them are slowly but surely are starting to close in on Yolmir as well but uh, ZGS honestly I gotta say he's sort of like the cork in the bottle here um, he is slowing both Hotspot and Nero down by a little bit and you can see that because Yolmir is starting to get away again he's now five seconds clear so um, yeah we'll have to wait and see how this one ends up ten more laps to go I believe Yolmir still needs to pit as well, uh, that he's on the soft strategy. Um, ZGS, oh, there he goes into the pits. Yeah, he hasn't, he hadn't pit yet, so, uh, well, that's good news for me, but, um, yeah, you know, I was about to say, he was doing some really, really good defensive driving there, despite kind of being a little bit off the pace compared to me and Nero. but, um, I tell you what, he was hanging in there really well, and he somehow didn't make too much contact with either me or, uh, Yolmir, I believe, when he, when Yolmir exited, or, uh, whoever it was, was it Jinnet that exited? That almost, uh, that collision up there, but, um, yeah, I mean, I found myself up into a comfortable position right now. I think I've got the least amount of penalties within the, uh, top five right now, other than Jinnet, who also has only three seconds, so, yeah, I tell you what, I'm not in too much of a panic right now. Like, it's about ten laps to go, and I know Jinnet's gonna need to pit again, I know Yolmir's gonna need to, uh, pit again. I don't think either me or Nero uh, is gonna pit again, especially on this medium tire, so that's gonna be interesting to see, so I think yeah. our tires are both gonna start to wear off at about the same time, um, as it looks like Jinnet may have just made contact with Nero there, that was actually really close, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, and Jinnet dives down the inside. inside of Nero, and now he's he up goes. into fourth place, he's really quick on those soft tires, and just to, to let you... I'm worried about him. Just to let you know as well, uh, Yolmir has actually already made his second stop in the race. He's on a brand new set of softs as well. So uh, this is you and Jinnet here right now as Jinnet goes down the inside and he is taking third position away from Hotspot. But Hotspot could come back at him because still you've got nine more laps to go 
on a soft tire so that means uh, Jin is gonna have to do 11 laps on the soft tire so I'm sure he's gonna be much much slower uh, towards the end uh, of the stint there um, impossible bacon closing up on Smith Bell slowly but surely as well but honestly other than that not too many battles going on right now everybody sort of figured out their own uh, pace their own groove uh, their own strategy everybody's pretty much made their stops as well that GS was uh, our last one to make a late uh, pit stop here actually um, I might have impossible bacon pitting as well because he's done 16 laps on a hard tire um, these laps aren't very long though so it's uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna get compounded for the tire wear ZGS comes out in 10th place and uh, yeah we're gonna have to uh, see how this one's gonna well, end uh, it's sorry to cut you off there but Jeff has let me know that we are expecting to see rain within 10 minutes Wow uh, so I do not know if that's gonna be a big factor as we've only got about eight or nine to go uh but that is certainly on the horizon if we get to that point all right well as, that could uh, get especially spicy. over here in turn one's getting a lot darker but yeah that is whew, way to spice things up game well let's see if we're gonna get some sort of a weather surprise here right towards the end of the race it would be quite interesting um late weather changes usually mean um, you know incidents because you're towards the end of your stint you're towards the end of the race the car is light but the tires are worn so it might get uh, very ugly or it might get unfortunate for some drivers we're gonna have to uh, wait for a few more laps here to see if we're actually gonna get the rain I know sometimes when Jeff comes on to the radio and says expect rain in 10 minutes and then in 10 minutes when you check with him again he says um, in five minutes and then in five minutes you check and it says any minute now and then it still takes another two to three laps for it to come so let's yeah. see how quickly it's gonna come in this time around and I'm, uh, I'm not saying I, I'd like a safety car right now considering that I'm on a little bit older tires than, than uh, everyone else um, as Jeff was just saying something in my ear about the tires but um, yeah no I'm not hoping for a safety car at the moment but at the same time I'm absolutely hoping for a safety car um, specifically to see if Yolmir can, you know, drop back. I mean, he's got, I mean, he's well ahead of me right now despite having the nine seconds, or I'm hoping that Jinnet, uh, who has just picked up another penalty, though, is still miles ahead of me. Um, but it's okay, because I think he'll need to pit again. Only he's got bags of speed. I don't think I'll be able to catch up to him anytime soon, personally. Um, <laughs> he himself almost having the win in Div 2 last night, and then unfortunate occurrences on the last restart in the safety car, so uh, he'll be looking to bounce back here, as uh, I've taken him absolutely horrid line through that corner um so yeah hoping that Janet comes in within these next uh five laps here he's probably gonna need to on that soft compound i know that he can stretch him pretty long though i don't know if that's necessarily the best idea um especially for this track all right so about five or six more laps to go here it's been a crazy start but uh since then it hasn't been too crazy it's been just pretty much battle it out and uh, make it until the end so a little bit more to go here um let's give you some of the sounds of formula one here for a minute Oh, and that goes Smith Bell spinning out as we were on board with them as well as we were trying to give you a little bit of the sounds of Formula 1 2020 here. And uh, I think I just saw a drizzle of rain on track as well. So uh, be prepared and be aware of that. There might be rain coming in a little bit sooner than we even expected. So this time maybe the rain will come in quicker than Jeff expected as well but uh, we'll have to wait and see for that one uh, but we were watching as Smith Bell was trying to close in on the possible bacon but then 
he just overcooked it on the exit of uh, one of the corners there and uh, went spinning around. Now he's under attack from the best pawns. He's going to try and mount a move on him around the outside of turn one. Oh, and then they make contact back to the car there. And then Hel Helgelin, out of nowhere, comes around the outside of both of them and up into ninth place there. What a beautiful move from him. And Smith Pell and uh, the best pawns are now sort of on the back foot. They're going to have to try and recover that time. Uh, meanwhile, let's see if there's any other battles going on there. It looks like Nero is still on the back of Hotspot, about 7 tenths behind there. So um, that battle might still uh, take it all the way down to the line. Um, Hotspot and Nero have been pretty much battling it out throughout the whole lap, especially towards the start of uh, the race there. Um, well, but... he's gone really wide out of that corner, though. It's, uh, not to interrupt you, but he at the exit of that corner, he has gone really, really wide. Uh, I don't know if he spun his tires or what, but he has absolutely lost a lot of progress there. He was within a second of me uh, at the beginning of the straight, and he has lost three tenths. So uh, I'm not entirely sure what's just happened to him. But um, how many laps to go here? We got less than five laps to go, and I'm really hoping that uh, Janet decides to come in for his pit stop, as I predicted. Uh, because if not, then I am gonna only be getting fourth. But um, yeah, so that's gonna be interesting to see. Um, I'm pretty sure. Nero's already pit behind me, I think is correct. Yep. Um, Mahi has found himself back up into the top 10 uh, after that start that he had. I think just completely missing the apex of the 90 degree uh, going through sect Sector 1. So He I does, mean, have, yeah, uh, good, good he does have ZGS right on the back of him here, and ZGS was thinking about making a move um, into uh, that last couple of corners there, but not quite making it stick just yet. So ZGS, he's also on a brand new set of tires, on a soft tire compared to the uh, media or hards of Mahi Mahi. So uh, he's really, really closing up that time. They're coming into the last corner now. ZGS, is he going to make a dive heat bomb here or is he going to use a DRS on the straight to go into turn one? He's right behind him now. DRS enabled, overtake button enabled as well. He's going to go around the outside as Mahi Mahi moves to the inside to defend. Mahi Mahi stays ahead for now and gets a really good line for turn one and still ahead but now is just thinking about going around the outside of the s's here that's gonna be interesting if that works out for him i really don't think it will and he has to drop back behind mahi mahi and uh wait for another chance here i'm really i mean i'm not sure that the rain is gonna actually come in here though I'm also starting to have my doubts as to if Jinnet or Yolmir is going to come in again um, and replace those softs. I mean, I think they have enough time to get through the pit lane. I mean, unless uh, Jinnet decides to take his penalty, which I actually don't know if he can do because of corner cutting. Uh, I know JC reminded me of that earlier uh, a couple of weeks ago. but um, So I'm not sure if they're actually going to be making another stop. But uh, if that's the case, then I will happily take a fourth place. Um, that's still an improvement on uh, where I started. So I tell, and I tell you what, for me, not uh, even ever touching this track prior to uh, 30 minutes ago when I was running time trials, um, I'm actually pretty happy with myself and only ending with hopefully only six seconds of penalties. If it's more than that, I might have a little bit of trouble. Yeah, honestly, I don't think Yolmir or Janet will be pitting again because uh, they've done nine laps on those me on those soft tires, and I think they could probably pull out another couple of laps as we're now on lap 27 of 28, and we're watching as ZGS and Mahi Mahi still battling it out there. ZGS was thinking about making another move again through the S's, and uh, it didn't work out. They made a little bit of a contact. They had a little bit of uh, wheel banging, but uh, Mahi Mahi still staying in six place but crucially Mahi Mahi has a penalty and ZGS does not so ZGS will still get that position as he's now going for another move around the double right hander or triple right hander towards the end of the track here now Mahi Mahi still keeps the position for now ZGS really putting on the pressure but what a great defensive drive here from Mahi Mahi to keep that sixth position although again as I mentioned it's gonna be for absolutely nothing because of penalties at the end of the race but everybody except for ZGS and Knuckles and Tear the Terror all have penalties to their name some have three penalties, three seconds some have six some have nine so we will see how the positions are gonna shuffle around 
at the end of the race here. Mahi Mahi still losing it on a couple of corners here through the SS. GS was thinking about mounting another move through there, but uh, it's already proven wrong for him twice in this race, so I don't think he's going to be going for that move again. Although, uh, oh, almost losing the car there on the exit. Uh, coming into the uh, hairpin like corner here in the double right hander and uh, ZGS I think this is now proving that um, soft tires are starting to wear out towards the end of this race he's only done eight laps on his tires but uh, Yolmir and Jinnit they have done 11 laps each and once again I've seen a tiny little drizzle of rain it just sort of flashes on screen and then it disappears so I don't know if this is the, the, the game's way of saying that the rain is coming but it's just so light right now that it's not enough to even show it yeah, I've had absolutely no... I haven't seen rain whatsoever, and uh, Jeff hasn't said anything as Jacko is actually that far ahead that uh, I'm only going through wow. the S-curves yeah. now. He's, and, just uh, he's just finished the race. the win there. Um, and wow. Yomir is, is nowhere even near the finish yet either, and he's in second place right now. So this just shows you the absolute domination that Jacko has done here today, taking that win in the first race of tonight's Friday session. Yomir coming home in second place. Janet is going to take third. Hotspot, our second co- uh, or our co-commentator for tonight here, and also our driver. Um, he is is currently in fourth place and uh, should be keeping that position. Let's take a look at penalties. Yeah, Nero has 18 seconds of penalties to his name and Mahi Mahi has three penalties. Everybody else actually from J ZGS down are already a lap down, so they've already technically finished the race. And here comes Hotspot to finish his race here tonight Ooh. as well. But Jacko is gonna be the man um, of the hour for this first race in USA on the short circuit. He has made it work and he has absolutely dominated the race from the start all the way down to the finish. Congratulations to Jacko Jinnit getting driver of the day and very deserving of that. He started very low down the grid and managed to recover to the podium. So uh, great job there. Hotspot, um, tell us about your impressions of uh, this first race. Oh, yes. Fourth place, I'm taking that. Goodness me. Gracias, ragazzi. Cuatro posto, disco regido. I'm absolutely taking fourth place. Jacko had a really, really solid uh, showing there ever since the start as well, and he made the move right around the outside. That was solid. Um, and if you're wondering, yes, that was Italian. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Incredible. Um, um, but yeah, no, solid race. And now on to Singapore with a track that. Uh, well, I'm pretty confident that if you're uh, if you watch the F2 if you watch the uh, F2 series, you'll know I have a solid history with Singapore. But um, yeah, no, that was a really solid race, and the tire strategy was I don't want to say thrown out the window, but um, didn't end up mattering all too much as we saw <laughs> Yulmir and uh, Jenna and Jacko all taking. Uh, well, Jacko and Yulmir only had one stop, but uh, yeah. Well, let's run through the finisher here again. Jacko in first, Yolmir in second, Jinnit in third, Hasbon in fourth, ZGS in fifth, Mahi Mahi in sixth, Nero in seventh, Helgelin in eighth, uh, Smith Bell in ninth, Monkey Mafia in tenth, The Best Bonds in eleventh, Impossible Bacon in twelfth, ISRL Astunic in thirteenth, Knuckles in fourteenth, and Tear the Tear is going to be at fifteenth place at the back of uh, the finishing grid here. But wow. What a race this was. Um, I've never seen racing around USA short before, but I gotta say that was extremely exciting, um, especially that very, very sudden left-hand corner to make it to the short track and to make it pretty much all the way around, um, what would that be, uh, all the way down to uh, corner 12, so you're cutting out about half the track there. Um, it, it cut out some people here in this first race, we definitely noticed that. Uh, for the second race tonight, we're going to be moving over to Singapore, we're going to be using the full track, but we're only doing the 25% race to match up sort of, uh, you know, the usual 2 times 20 25 format um, that I guess this uh, Friday session usually does. Um, other than that though, um, any impressions or any other things that you want to mention Hotspot from that first race? Well, I tell you what, that first race was really solid and I don't think a lot of the drivers had uh, a lot of practice on that track as well, but Singapore, uh, we've raced at very recently as well, um, as little as, I mean, two weeks ago. So, I mean, yeah, this is going to be very tough, especially uh, 
if you're going to have my luck and start towards the uh, back of the grid, now that this is random, um, it's actually going to be very tough, though. I think that tire strategy is going to play into it, as well as just overall keeping it clean. Um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one here for sure. I know a lot of these drivers dread this track. Um, me personally, again, I don't have too, too much of a problem with it, but uh, yeah, we're, we're expect a good one again. And it's also going to be a long one, even with the 25%, I think it's going to be around uh, 15 or 16 laps. So that's going to be enough time to really make things happen and get some action on track. Um, for this second one, we're also going to be going with a random grid once again. Um, you know, coming into this session, I was thinking, you know, random grid, the drivers must uh, really be pissed off about that because you could be starting right towards the back. But watching from this first race, people recover from the back and people drop from the front to the back and everything happens all over the place. So I'm super excited now to be going into Singapore. It's a very technical street track. It's hard on the tires. It's uh, It provides for some good overtaking. There's a lot of really hard braking zones where you can dive up the inside of somebody or if somebody makes a mistake and goes into the wall um, you can you know overtake them pretty easily but other than that uh, be prepared also for possibly safety cars because anywhere you crash around here there's a safety car coming out oh yeah absolutely and I mean this track's gonna be really interesting as well just um I think especially if we get a wet race which is very much a possibility here at Singapore um, I think a lot of people are going to have that, if we do get the uh, miracle of a wet race, I think a lot of people are going to struggle, um, you know, because I know for a fact that the dry car strategy does not work at all on a wet racetrack, so um, that's going to be tough, but uh, I'm going to tell you the projected pit strategy really sh quickly right here, so we've got uh, probably going to be pitting around lap 5 to 10 on a one-stop, uh, at lap 5 on a one-stop strategy if you start on the soft tires, but I'm actually going to take that back and I'm going to go to lap four. So I'm going to be pitting a lap earlier than everyone else and I'm going to be staying out on the medium store at the end of the race. Um, so yeah, this one's going to be very interesting. Um, don't know if we're going to get rain. It looks like it's going to get cloudy a little bit further down the end of the race according to the weather forecast. I'm starting, well, as I said, right at the back of the grid. I've only got two other cars behind me. Um, so wow. yeah, this is going to be an interesting one here. All right, well, get ready. It's the Midwest F1 League, the Friday session. It's uh, round six. We're here for uh, the Marina Bay Street Circuit for race two tonight. And it is the longest circuit of any other circuit on the tri uh, the calendar of F1. It's five kilometers long, 3.1 miles. Um, and it's also got the most corners out of any other track with 23 total. Four or five lights are on the board now. Somebody has just jumped the start there. That was Tether. That's Tether. He's had a mess, and I think I almost jumped it as well. I saw him go, and I almost jumped it as well. Oh, big dive from El Majaco. A big dive from Jacko down the inside of Maki. Maki into turn one from P3, but that did not work from him. Further back, we've got Impossible Bacon going for a move around Knuckles here into turn, uh, I think this is turn f five, yeah, up into turn five, and he makes a position up into six. Yolmir is now battling with ZGS ahead of them. Best Pons and Elma Jacko are battling as well. Elma Jacko got to start right at the front there in second position. Now he's up into the lead once again in race two after winning race one zgs and impossible bacon still battling it out but not nothing happening just yet what a crazy start this is uh, the singapore track definitely very crazy um, the predictive pit strategy is a one stop because it's a 25 percent uh race but it's a one stop from uh either the softs to the mediums or from the mediums to the hard tires i'm not sure if anybody's gonna elect to go for that particular strategy i think you might be able to do uh medium to soft if you can uh, keep them alive for long enough back on board here with impossible bacon who's right on uh, the back of yolmir um in the meantime their hotspot has managed to uh, pick up some positions as well looks like you're up into eighth place and right on the back of nero once again you and nero have just been battling oh, it yeah. out how's this ha how's this happening oh no i'm so sorry okay um anyways <laughs> yeah he i think he saw someone lose a wing in front of me because i just saw a wing come off uh somewhere up there and uh, I, I think he breaked a lot later, as some cars are going to be coming into the pits here. Um, ZGS and then Impossible Bacon coming off, so that's going to put me up into P6 currently. Though, oh, someone just uh, had a little bit of a wiggle coming into the straight there. I'm not entirely sure who that was. 
Um, oh, big battling so going yeah, on very here. Interesting stuff there already. Mahi Mahi was making a move on Best Bonds, but then he lost the car and lost some time. Back to Yolmir, who's now coming out of turn five and onto the first DRS straight here. No DRS enabled just yet. We're only on lap two. Five second penalty already for Tear the Tear for speeding into the pits when he was coming in for his drive through. Everything going uh, badly here for Tear the Tear. And then Yolmir messing up his move on Mahi Mahi, almost going into the wall here at uh, turn eight. And now Best Bonds almost going into the wall on turn nine and Mahi Mahi trying to make another move on him. This is absolutely crazy here. Uh, Smith Bell is in a big uh, battle right now with uh, Helgelin and with Astunic. Uh, three wide coming into uh, turn f uh, six right now and oh my god there's another touch there between uh, Smith Bell and Eldigen but Smith Bell moves up into turn ten. Oh and a massive smash into the back of Astunic. He's losing a huge piece of his front wing now. So Smith Smith Bell is going to lose a couple of positions and is going to have to make a, a stop and he just got a five second penalty for that severe collision. Yeah, and this, oh, and I've just picked up three seconds for accidentally uh, getting my right sides on the uh, rumble strips there, so that's going to be interesting. I might need to, actually, I'll tell you what I might do. I might even take the strategy a lap earlier now. Uh, well, actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to serve that penalty, but... um. Yeah, so this is going to be really interesting here to see. Uh, I think some of those people, ZGS in particular, who took that earlier strategy, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work for him. But uh, as Jeff is telling me that I have a new strategy available, we're going to find out what that is. That is going to be pitting on lap six, putting on the mediums, or keeping the current on lap four. Ooh, I'm not entirely sure what to do. I think part of me wants to stay on the strategy to go on to lap four. Um... Yeah, that's going to be... Whew, all right, this is decisions, decisions. Um, as I'm <laughs> currently almost in a battle with uh, Nehru here. Um, I tell yeah. you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go in the middle. I'm going to go on lap five uh, and just tell him the box when we get, when we get there. Um, all right, we're back on board here with Mahi Mahi in his battle with Yolmir and the best pawns for P2 right now in the race. But I'll tell you what, El Majaco again... Just, uh, first of all, he got lucky with starting in P2 after having a win in the last race, but now he's in the front once again, 7.2 seconds clear of the best pawn, uh, who has Yolmir and Mahi Mahi uh, pushing and, uh, and putting on a lot of pressure right behind them. So I'm sure these guys are not going to give it up easily. We're already on lap 3 of 15 and DRS has been enabled. We've seen uh, DRS being used right now by Mahi Mahi on that second DRS straight. Of course, we have three DRS straights around this track. So that should make it for an exciting race and for a lot of overtaking opportunities. Uh, but yeah, Mahi Mahi, Yolmir and the Best Pawns still battling out. The Best Pawns just got a really bad run there through turn 22 and up into turn 23 comes now into another DRS on the side finish straight. Yolmir is going to go for the move around the outside and down the inside into turn one. And there we go. The uh, Yolmir up into two, uh, up, to, up into P2, sorry. And Mahi Mahi down into P4. And this is going to be interesting here. So I think I am going to end up hitting this time by. Hopefully the medium strategy is going to work into my favor. Um, and, and Nehru is doing an excellent job at uh, keeping that gap of over a second despite him being on the medium compound. Not entirely sure how he's managed to uh, put me on the ropes on that on, uh, in that regard, but hopefully this pit strategy that I've chosen is going to help me. Uh, as it kind of did last race, um, I know I started at about fourth or fifth, uh, and I finished fourth, but uh, I'm going to assume there's going to be some different strategies in the play for this one, um, especially some of these guys uh, that started on the medium compound, uh, moving probably to the softs, and then me started on the softs going on to the medium, so this is going to be a very mixed up grid uh, at the end of the race. We're watching another battle going on here at ZGS and F1 Jenna. Jenna just overtook ZGS for P11 in today's race two. But uh, ZGS is not giving it up too easily here. Sticking right to the back of the car there as they're coming through turn uh, nine and eight there. Very nicely done. Astuna gets a three second penalty. Uh, let's go back to the front. This battle between Mahi Mahi and the best pawns for P3 is uh, very far from over here. The best pawn is having trouble coming out out of corners, losing the back of the car. Meanwhile, Mahi Mahi, I think he's breaking a little bit too early into a lot of the corners, trying to be cautious of not 
uh, possibly crashing into the best ones, and that's hurting him a little bit, especially now as they're coming into the DRS zone on the start finish rate. Uh, it's telling us that the pit window for the medium runners or for the soft runners to go to the mediums has now pretty much opened, and uh, it looks like Hotspot has taken that chance right on the nose of that notification, and he is into the pits now to pit onto the medium tire from his softs that he started on. Mahi Mahi now has DRS again on the best bonds, but again, he just doesn't get a good run onto the DRS trade, and now Nero has a really good run on Mahi Mahi from behind as they're coming into turn seven. Nothing happening there just yet, going into turn eight now and still nothing happening but we're gonna stay with this battle and see what Nero decides to go for his move yeah and I've just fallen back to 11th here uh, I think it's gonna be really interesting I don't think Jinnit has pit yet has he um, or has he I'm not entirely sure as uh, Asnik behind me is in the pits um, I'm not entirely sure how many positions I'm gonna make up by short pitting here uh, hopefully a little bit um, I, I don't I don't know I think I'm taking a couple big risks with these uh, really extended medium strategies that did work last race. I'm just hoping uh, this time, uh, I mean, it is only 10 laps on these tires, so hopefully that'll be worth something. But um, yeah, I, I hope this field, at least uh, for my sake, gets bunched up a little bit more, and then hopefully uh, I make a couple positions on pit stops. Um, I mean, either way, it's going to be an improvement for me starting in, I think, what was it, like 13th I started in. Um, so yeah, uh, not too many complaints. Uh, it looks like ZGS is actually his AI is taking over for him behind me. And so, the best Bonds uh, is coming in for his pit stop, and Yolmir is coming in for his pit stop, and that means Mahi Mahi moves up into second position, Nero moves up into third, and he's not too far away from Mahi Mahi. He was, uh, trying to make some moves earlier on in the lap and he's actually on a different strategy as well he started this race on that medium tire so he's going to be taking this one probably to about a uh, lap uh, maybe 8, 9, 10 or so and then switching over to a really quick soft tire now he's going for the move around the outside of Mahi Mahi and down into the inside of the next corner but that doesn't work as Mahi Mahi pretty much cuts him off into the corner there and Nero had to slam on the brakes and uh, make sure that he does not make any contact but he managed to keep it nice and clean but he's gonna have to try again for that overtake to regain that position and weirdly enough Mahi Mahi got the DRS on the next straight as well uh, because of the fact that uh, Nero was trying to make that overtake and he was technically ahead of him into the detection zone so that is gonna be very weird but now Nero is gonna have the DRS on Mahi Mahi into the next one tear to tear another five seconds penalty for speeding into the pit lane again uh, but not as many penalties as we had in USA short in race one tonight so uh, that is a little bit of a cleaner race here uh, looks like Helgelin and Monkey Mafia are battling it out Helgelin has just taken over for uh, fourth position and Monkey Mafia right behind them is gonna have to try and work uh, that one back again yeah this is interesting because we got impossible bacon ahead of me up in eighth he's got a uh eight seconds worth of penalties uh so i think i'll at least be getting that spot i'm not sure who else in the top five still needs to pit i don't assume a lot of people um but right now i mean i'm kind of happy where we're uh with where i am at the moment though i am going to be probably losing this position to best pods assuming that he keeps it penalty free um because i've got the three seconds as well so this is going to be tough uh for me personally as i've just actually made a little bit of contact with the wall there though thanks to having reduce damage on for this race that's not that much of a problem yeah so just want to let you know there Mahi Mahi and Helgelin are the two people on the soft tires that have not pitted yet but uh, Nero and Monkey Mafia are both running on the medium tires from the start of this race so they're running the alternate strategy and they're currently in uh, second and fourth positions uh, Jacko mm. has just come out out of his pit stop in fifth position on a set of mediums Yolmir is on a set of mediums after his pit stop as well uh, Best Bonds has just made a stop for a medium set so so uh, pretty much everybody is there. ZGS has just made us up for a soft tire to go until the end of this race. So I think that pretty much means that everybody has made their second stop now. And this is it. Eight laps to go until the end. Let's see how this is going to play out. Is Jacko going to be able to recover back to the win here tonight? Or at least a podium position. He's now making his move on Monkey Mafia. And uh, we have some yellow flags. Somebody speeding into the pits as well. No safety cars just yet though. Nothing major. And Jacko moves himself up into P4. 
And yeah, that's uh, Asnik has left the session. I don't, I'm not entirely sure what's happened there, because um, the pit. So I am not really sure what's happened with him. He's taking care of himself. I'm just kind of hoping and praying that somewhere along the line we have some sort of safety car or something. Um, because I think I've, yet again I have chosen the wrong strategy, um, though I have made progress in my initial uh, initial position. Uh, I just don't think this is exactly what I needed, though. Um, I tell you what, a fourth place uh, last time. That's oh, as hell is just coming to the pits now. So I'm going to be making up possibly at least two or three spots here. Uh, I'm going to absolutely send this through the stray and hopefully into turn one. It might come out in front of Mahi. Oh, it's going to be really close as well. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have this here, especially because he's got the. Uh, that, that pit exit there is actually very strange, if I say so myself. It's just, I, I don't know, it's, uh, is it, ooh, when Pons has gone off really far behind me, I'm not sure what's happened there. I don't know if Mahi has made contact with him, but Best Pons has just really just slid out of the way. Um, yeah. As I think both of them are going to have DRS this time by. Um, yeah, there was no contact there. It was, of penalty, so. and there was Ugh, no contact there. It was just uh, Best Pons was trying to actually get out of the way of Mahi Mahi, because Mahi Mahi came in just absolutely rocketing in, into uh, uh, turn two there. So, uh, yeah, but now Mahi Mahi's trying to put on some pressure on the hotspot that we were just talking to a moment ago. Someone has spun out at the starting of turn three. And virtual there safety we, car. Yeah, there we have a virtual safety car. It looks like Mahi Mahi has just got the position on hotspot there just as the virtual safety car came out. Jinnit has DNF'd. Jinnit, wow. Jinnit has DNF'd. He's across the, the bridge right here. Oh, um, wow. Wow, okay. Yeah, uh, we Mahi just saw has him yet there. again put across a risky uh, overtake on me as he did at Japan. Um... In the F2 race, uh, as he ended my night in that one, so hopefully I'm going to try to be getting him back here very shortly. His internet is not exactly good; he's all over the place on my screen. Um, yeah, interesting. So Jin, I'm not really sure what's happened with him because he was having a solid race. He found himself up into the top five, uh, and yeah, that's actually really interesting. I'm not quite sure what's happened to him there. Well, that was a crazy one, and it was actually really lucky that only a virtual safety car came out, that there was no safety car, that a full one didn't come out. Monkey Mafia is now coming into the pits to change over to a soft tire from uh, the medium tire that he had on for the whole race. Best Pons has just got himself a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings for cutting hotspot right now um, in terms of penalties, so you guys are pretty much just battling it out for, for position from here on out. Helgelin is going to jump up into P8 as Monkey Mafia is still coming out of the pits right now. And, uh, Best Pawns as DRS on hotspot as they are now out of turn 5. We're down the inside into the next corner now and not quite making it work just yet. So he's going to have to fight that one back. Uh, that was a really interesting overtake there, Hotspot. How did it look from your perspective? No, it was good. He, I mean, he's he's uh, he's had a lot more straight line speed than I have. Uh, I mean, straight line speed isn't exactly what you need on this track, but when it uh, when it is there, it comes in. Oh, well, what's the, oh goodness me! I forgot ghosting was on. Uh, I nearly had a uh, accident there as uh, ZGS had just found himself wedged across the bridge. So uh, yeah, that was my jump scare of the night. <laughs> um, wow, that, my life has just flashed before my eyes. Um, yeah, we saw that but, yeah, one no, as coming I was up. Saying, <laughs> Yeah. And here comes Jacko, sorry uh, to interrupt, yeah, is... uh, Jacko is coming Ooh. for the overtake for the lead of the race into turn one on Nero Nix, and that is Jacko back up into uh, P1 for the second time. If he wins back to back two races in the Friday session after starting on random grids, that is absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely great job from him, good drive, but five more laps to go, anything could still happen here. We've seen a VSC, we've seen a couple of people uh, like Jinnit and the ZG yes having some uh, trouble in the last couple of laps here so something could still come out a safety car is still very much possible yeah, and I tell you what um, I, I, I think Jacko so so Janet had back to back the first two weeks I believe and then uh, as ZGS just retired oh, from the yeah he just um, retired in the pits though so it might not do anything yeah but so yeah I mean Jacko getting if, if he does get a back to back that would be uh I mean, I'm sure that this won't be this will be the first too many for him as well. Um, as best bonds ahead of me, he's kind of been looking slippy over these past uh, couple corners here. Um, not entirely sure what's going on there. I don't know if his I don't know what's going on though. I know best bonds is one of those guys who uh, I don't think uses too many assists on traction on uh, traction control, um, and that's usually why you'll find him uh, up at the top of the up the top of the grid because he's just without the assist it's so much faster as so I've hit the wall there um, in a moment of just dumb uh, 
Yeah, so I mean, this is going to be tough. Uh, I think I'm still going to be ahead of. Uh, I'm still going to be ahead of Hell in eighth. Uh, Espon's got the penalty ahead of me, though. That's not going to matter. If I want that spot, I'll need to pass him. Um, and then I'm not sure who's got the penalty ahead of me. I think. Well, someone had eight seconds up there, and then I think. Yeah, I think it could have been ZGS who retired from the session. So. Uh, that is out the window. We're going to be coming on five laps to go this time by. Um, yeah. Despons has just given me absolute run for my money here. I'm not going to have the DRS on this time by either. He's just absolutely put me in the dust. Um, goodness me, yeah. Nero's coming into the pits. Jo yeah, I just wanted to mention, well, Nero has just come into the closer. pits, and in terms of penalties, so Yolmir has three seconds, and Possible Bacon in third place has eight Oof. seconds. Yeah. Mahi Mahi has no penalties, he's currently in fourth. Best Pawns in fifth place has three second penalty. Uh, Hotspot three seconds, Nero has three seconds, Monkey Mafia has three again. seconds. Nero again, what is it with this guy always trying to pass me? My goodness, every time, every race is this man. <laughs> and now Mahi so Mahi is going for an overtake on... <sighs> On, uh, uh, who is it? Is it that impossible bacon? Yeah, um, he was trying to make an overtake there, but it didn't quite work. He's going for another move here, and there he goes up into P3. It looks like impossible bacon let him through, uh, because I think he made that uh, overtake earlier a little bit too hard there on him. So he lets him through. Mahi Mahi up into P3. Impossible bacon with eight seconds of penalties to his name still to serve. Um, he's down in P4 right now, but everyone has made their second stops now. Um, every Everyone is running on these tires until the end. Smith Bell is the last one into the pits right now. And other than that, we should be going until the end of the race here. Somebody has just spun off at the end of Sector 2. That was uh, Monkey Mafia. Oh, and another Monkey virtual safety car. safety car. Monkey Mafia is just retired. Um, and now this is going to be the tricky part, is somehow managing to stay above Delta, uh, going through these very tight corners, which, I mean... Literally, if you if if you tap on the gas whatsoever going through here, as I'm going very very cautiously because I do not want to uh, exceed that delta, as I uh, very much might here very shortly. This is going to be interesting. Um, interesting to have a virtual at this stage of the race. I mean, this might shake things up just a little bit. Um, yeah, Let's goodness see. me, this is intense. Yeah, let's see. Impossible Bacon here is keeping nice and close to Mahi Mahi. They were very close to each other um, when that virtual safety car came out. So is Nero and the best pawns. Nero is right on the rear wing of the best pawns, right on that rear diffuser. So we're waiting for the virtual safety car to end, but it's still live right now. So the drivers still have to match up to a Delta that's displayed on their screen. And there we go, green flags are out. DRS is re-enabled and we're back to racing once again. Nero is lining up on the best pawns, but almost hitting the wall there at the exit of turn seven. That would have been really unfortunate if he would have done that. Best pawns does hit the wall on the exit of turn eight. And that sounded like a big crunch. So that might have given him a little bit of damage on that front wing. We'll see if that affects his race for the last three laps that we've got to go here. Nero's gliding up another move here. Not quite working, but it is quite working now. Through the inside, he's going to have the DRS on this one as well. He opens up the DRS. He's going to go around the outside of the best pawns into the next corner. Oh, they make a touch there. And Nero gets pushed into the wall. He made a touch with the wall, but I don't think he got any damage from that one. But he's going to have to try again. He's coming into the next corner. Touches the back of uh, the best pawns, almost spinning him out. The best pawns keeping the cards together through there as they're coming under the bridge now of uh, turn 18 there oh and best bonds looks like he just disconnected his car is ghosting he's back on now and Nero Nick still trying to make the attack through there but not having any luck and this is the fight for P5. The best pawns not having a good run through turns 22 and 23. Nero with the DRS coming around the outside. Gonna go down the inside into turn 1. Best pawns trying to make a switchback work. Not going to happen right there. So that's Nero back up into P5 here on that brand new set of soft tires. He's still got a couple of laps to go in tonight's race. He might still recover. But now the best pawns has hotspot right on his heels here with the DRS. With some overtake to try and help him out as well but the best pawn still has DRS as well and now Helligent coming out of nowhere trying to go around the outside little touch from hotspot on the best pawns back of the car there but nothing too major best pawns still defending p6 hotspot and Helligent are both in this fight for p6 this is absolutely incredible racing towards the this closing is tough. stages I don't like this at all. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't like this whatsoever. Uh, and, and hell, I've been trying to keep uh, defensive driving on Hell for these past two or three laps now. He's absolutely giving me such a tough time. Uh, I'm actually quite thankful that uh, Best Pons and uh, Nero were making some contact there because that's actually put me in a position to possibly make this overtake here very shortly. Though I think Hell's going to have a fair shot at it uh, as we head through this DRS section. And no, he's not going to get it this time by, um, though he is uh, making my hair turn white. All right, well, we've got two laps to go on lap 14 of 15 now. Um, Yolmir and then El Majako in first and second. Mahi Mahi in third. Impossible Beacon in fourth. Nero in fifth position. And then we are seeing this fight for sixth position here between the best pawns, Hotspot, El Hel and Held Legion. Uh, those three guys are absolutely going right at it here. So we're going to wait it out but hotspot is trying his best mahi mahi gets a three second get penalty i'll get their next corner though i bet you oh he's really really trying but you're gonna have that really long drs zone coming up so ah, goodness as, me got as long as we can line. get a good run through here nero is now lining up a move on impossible bacon for p4 this would be really incredible here as they come out of turn 5 and through turn 6 with the DRS open. He's going to go around the outside. Impossible Bacon is going to defend around the outside into the next corner. And he looks like he manages to defend now. And he's got the inside into the next corner now. Nero is actually going for the switchback. And he makes that one work beautifully as he knew that the best bond or uh, that the Impossible Bacon had to slam on the brakes as he was going way too deep into that corner. And that is Nero into P4 after making a late stop for those soft tires wow this is absolutely unbelievable here towards the closing end of race two in the friday session hotspot making another tiny little touch with the wall there we heard a little bit of a crunch from on board with helgelin but uh, we're now on the last lap here tonight el majaco is leading us out there on the last lap yolmir is not even to the last corner yet so again el majaco just absolutely dominating in race two here tonight in singapore this is going to be a close one. This is going to come down to the final corner between me, Best Pawns, and Hell. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hell's going to get this position no matter what, but I'd still like it over Best Pawns. Um, so this is going to be tough, especially coming in uh, back into turn one. I think I might have an okay run at him, um, especially all three of us are going to have the DRS. So this is going to be very interesting. Oh, and I've just picked up three seconds again. Ah, oh, that hurts. Okay, anyways, but it's all good because Impossible Bacon still has 11 seconds, so it might actually not hurt me that much. Um, wow, goodness me, this is intense. Uh, still going to try for this overtake going into turn three here very shortly. Uh, you might want to go on board for this one as it's going to be really close. Ah, goodness me. And we're watching oh, more from Helgelin as he's coming around anyways. the outside of you now after you make that little mistake as you're now coming into turn four. Ooh, a little bit of a touch there, banging side pots with your front wheel. And that is Helgelin up into P7 and Hotspot unfortunately down into P8. But let's switch over to, again, the man of the hour. He is in already the third sector of this last lap of Singapore for race two in round six of Friday session of the Midwest F1 League. It's been a crazy night here. We started off with USA short with El Majaco was really down the grid but then managed to recover up into the front and managed to pull out a huge gap before winning that race and now he's rounding up the last corner and he's gonna cross the line there and the fireworks go off for El Majaco for the second time tonight. Back to back win in the Friday session. Congratulations to Jacko. Yolmir is about to round out uh, the uh, last corner here and he's gonna take a second place. Great performance from him. Could two races all put together as well. Mahi Mahi holding on to that uh, P3 for the moment. We'll see if he manages to make that, but let's see here on Helgelin, because Helgelin is not done just yet. He's lining up a move on the best pawns. There's only a few more corners to go here, so he's got to make this move soon. I don't think it's going to be close enough. Hotspot is trying to make any sort of a time up on the both of them, and that's not going to work either. Going wide. I pushed it too hard. And Where's that for me? Yeah, I'm still in seventh. I'm taking that. <laughs> And that is it for race two. Everybody has wow. crossed the line. We're going to take a look at the final standing here. But uh, Helgelin gets driver of the day. So that must mean that he's recovered quite a few positions in tonight's race. But it's Jacko once again on the top step of the podium. Coming out there in just a moment to spray the champagne 
Um, together with them is going to be Yalmor and Mahi Mahi rounding up the uh, rounding up the podium there. What an incredible job! And there he goes, Jacko, lifting up the trophy, spraying the champagne, smashing it on the ground. Hopefully it doesn't break, but of course it doesn't. So wow, what an incredible race! This was Singapore always delivers some exciting racing. Sometimes it uh, can get really ugly really quickly. But tonight it was overall a really nice clean race with a lot of battling that took it all the way down to the line. So again, Jacko in first, Yolmir in second, Mahi Mahi in third, Nero in fourth, Helgelin in fifth after everything is said and done. The best spawn in sixth. Hotspot in 7th, Impossible Bacon in 8th, Smith Bell in 9th, 10th goes to Tear the, tear the Tear, um, 11th, Knuckles, much better recovery from the last race, Monkey Mafia unfortunately DNF, ZG has DNF, GUnit has DNF, and Astunic has all DNF as well. Wow, Hotspot, let us know about that second one. I, my, honestly, that race was very intense, and it was, it was honestly quite a challenge. I mean, Helgelin has been just forcing his way throughout the field. Uh, goodness me, what stuff from him. Um, Nero's found himself up into fourth. That's a good uh, That's a good race for him, considering that. I think he's actually pretty new to this league as well. Um, I think he's... Uh, I think he actually just joined the Discord today, so good for him as well. Um, Jacko fully deserves uh, the wins that he got. Yolmir did really good as well. Whew, I'm out of breath. I'm out of energy. But I'm ready for next week already. All right, and I'm guessing for this one, there's no uh, interviews or anything else. Uh, probably not. All right. Don't well, that's so. we fine. Yeah. So I mean, we we've had enough excitement as it is already. We've uh, had two races here. It's been a long uh, broadcast and a long session for this uh, this week's Friday session for Midwest F1 League. Wow, it was my first one again in a little bit of a different uh, format, a little bit of a different division, but a lot of drivers that I've seen in this league and other leagues before, so it was really nice to see them uh, racing around in uh, in this sort of a uh, more casual setup for tonight. So yeah, again, huge thank you to uh, everybody that's been watching so far. Make sure you guys subscribe to uh, our Twitch channel uh, that you're watching on right now and keep updated on all of the other races that are coming up uh, this week in Midwest F1 League. Um, huge thank you to Hotspot again for uh, also having me uh, here again and also for helping me out tonight. Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, I'm excited to partner up with you again in the uh, Div 2 race next Thursday as well as well, all the other divisions are on Thursday as well. Uh, we got F2 on Wednesday. Actually, where are we going for F2? I believe we're going to Austria for that, which I've just become a full-time driver, so that's exciting for me. Um, and then Div 2, 1, 2, 3, um, I'm going to be racing at Mexico this week, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, that's all for me. All right, and I guess that will be all from uh, myself here as well, from Blim Machine, from Hotspot, from Midwest F1 team, uh, F1 League, sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember to uh, stay up to date on all the other races coming up, as we've mentioned. And uh, yeah, have a great night, everyone. Thank you once again. See you later.